Ricky, good morning. Uh, I, I would say this to start, that um, anybody in their mid-50s like me, or slightly older, or slightly younger, uh, is is right on line with your brain when you post pictures <laughs> on your Twitter handle and, and creative captions, and you do it quite often. So I want to start by saying thanks for giving social media something for us to like. <laughs> well, th thank you guys for having me on. And thanks, Matt. You know, I, it's a very scary thought. If, if the world is inside my brain, I, I fear for the world. Believe me. <laughs> hey, Ricky, I was just wondering um, how you came about thinking of Super 70 Sports, and what was your first tweet? Well, Ron, first of all, always a pleasure to talk to a gold glover. <laughs> and that's in a league that had Greg Maddox, by the way. Uh, you know, the, the original inspiration, Ron, was pretty simply just a little sideline to amuse myself. I thought maybe I would crack up some of my friends that I knew had a a uh, similar worked uh, sense of humor. And uh, it, it turns out that I, I guess it resonated, uh, as Matt said, you know, kind of with, you know, a generation of, of kids who, who grew up with uh, these things that I tweet about. And, you know, it's obviously been a, a, a magnificent surprise, uh, you know, to find out that there's so many of us out there who, who share these things in common. I think even younger fans uh, are amused by what you do because they've never seen a picture of Bake McBride's Afro before. And, and they see a lot of this stuff for the first time with you. You, you tweet often during the day, though. I, I'm told as many as 15 times a day. Um, as I think my record is about 50. Uh, pro probably average about 25, 20, 25 uh, tweets a day. And, uh, Ron, I think I dodged your question. As far <laughs> as what the first uh, tweet was, uh, this isn't 60 Minutes. I know, I know you're not uh, coming after <laughs> Tell us here. You don't need to dodge you. Uh, the, the first tweet, uh, I think it may have been a birthday shout out to Jack Ham of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I obviously came out of the gate strong with, uh, you know, something that uh, would universally be appreciated. Well, I know you've uh, got favorite players and, um, you know, I mean, I, I, I join you in uh, my fanboy love of Reggie Jackson, Pete Rose, Nolan Ryan. I get all that. You list Brian Doyle among your favorite players, not Denny, but brother Brian. And is that because of the Kentucky connection? Because I know that uh, that is your home state. Yeah, you know, I grew up in the metropolis of Horse Cave, Kentucky, <laughs> which is uh, about a population uh, 2,000. So that's about, you know, 1,999 plus Brian Doyle. Um, and uh, in 78, I was a second grader, and Brian Doyle filled in for Willie Randolph during the 78 World Series and went seven for 16, and uh, that was pretty big news in Horse Cave, as you might imagine. We actually had a parade for Brian Doyle uh, <laughs> after the 78 Series. They named the Little League uh, fields after him. They put a sign up that said Brian Doyle. Uh, you know, uh, New York Yankees, home of Brian Doyle. So uh, the, the hometown boy made good. And, uh, you know, he, here I am, uh, you know, a generation later trying to represent uh, Horse Cave, Kentucky, and Cameron High School. I mean, Brian Doyle, 7 for 16 in that World Series, a 161 hitter in his career. So Love just it. one of those magical moments. Uh, how's a guy from Kentucky become a Montreal Expos fan? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, growing up in Kentucky, I, I, I had a I had a sheltered life. You know, my mom would take me to one Cincinnati Reds game a year. You know, it was always a thrill to get that schedule in the mail and circle the game that you wanted to go to. And, you know, I had to choose wisely to make that trip to Cincinnati. And, you know, who do I want to see? And, and, and in 83, I picked the Expos. And, uh, you know, they played O Canada before the game. And, you know, I'm like, what's this? It was all very exotic for me. And then Andre Dawson, Tim Raines, and you can see the Hawk going deep here. Uh, Gary Carter, Al Oliver, Steve Rogers. I mean, so many guys and uh, the uniforms. And I, I became an Expos fan and I, I root for Montreal to uh, get a major league franchise again. And I, I have vowed that when that happens, uh, I will be there for opening day in Montreal. Share a lot in common with us there, too. I love Canada. Yeah, Harold loves Canada, too, yeah. chiming in from... Uh, the feeling um, might not be mutual, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you also tweet not only about baseball, but about, I guess, you know, 70s childhood memories. And uh, Mike Wohen, our producer today, put some of these together. 
Uh, here we go. This was a great slide for 10% of kids who didn't break their necks or get third degree <laughs> leg hurts, right? We keep going with, uh, with some of these Super 70 sports tweets. My goodness, after 40 years of therapy, the Smith brothers are now almost at peace <laughs> with this. <laughs> Were they conjoined twins? I don't know. Uh, here's another one. Lawn dart scoring. Inside the dart, three points. Closest to the dart, one point. Yeah. Grandma's not moving. Call 911. <laughs> Zero points. Those are actual toys from the 70s. It reminds me of that SNL sketch where Dan Aykroyd played the uh, shuckster kind of toy executive and he was advocating to play with a bag of glass and a bag of nails. And I mean, that stuff, that's what we remember in the 70s. And you do too, I guess. Yeah. You know, my mom was, I, I considered my mom overprotective. But uh, by 2022 standards, uh, there, there was very little oversight, you know, and I, you look at that slide and you think to yourself, was there anybody in that meeting who said, you, you know, you think this is a good idea? <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's, it's precarious. I, you know, I don't know that I don't know that I want to climb up there, but, uh, you know, the, the teachers would send us out for recess. And those of us who survived, you, you know, went, went back in for fifth period. <laughs> The funny thing about those slides, right, where they were always like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. They never, like, lined up straight down the runway. They were a little, like, off always. Yeah, yeah. Always looking to, you know, best eject the child onto the pavement, right? That's the thing. So I guess we have some caption this. Okay. Uh, I, I, sent, I sent some photos for Ricky to take a look at, like the most embarrassing photos. Oh, these are from you? Of my lifetime. Oh, okay. So Here I figured they'd be good for Ricky to take a look at. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think you're you're thinking about that last start where you didn't make it through the fifth. Well, I think, right you know there, the yeah. team the teams I played with, Ricky, uh, tended to stay up late at night. I really look like Otani after a long flight from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that to your right? Is that Roger, Roger McDowell? McDowell? Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. And then the other one, everyone went to the mall to take this picture, right, with family and their brothers. Oh, but that's wow. my brothers. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That is, a, that is a handsome, handsome group of young men right there. <laughs> Who would have ever guessed, Ricky, that one of those dashing young men would would grow up to become Lee Boy? <laughs> well, <right. laughs> I'm still pissed that you got denied the uh, supporting uh, actor nod that year. But, uh, but, you, but you can tell that you can tell that Ron is has his sights on on bigger things because he cared enough to wear a tie. I love there you it. go. We, we want to take out with one. Uh, we could do this all day with you and just repurpose your brain and your tweets here. But this is a particular favorite of mine, a White Sox uh, player who looks curiously like the principal from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And I'm, I'm doing this without giving our producer. Greg Pryor had that kind of, what was the guy's name? Principal Skinner? What was his name in the film? I can't, I can't even remember. It's Ed Rooney. Joke. Ed Rooney. Rooney. That's Rooney. Simple Rooney. He does, man, does he look like him. Good stuff. Super 70 Sports is the follow if you haven't come upon it already, which uh, I, I find hard to believe because so much of this is out there for our, our enjoyment. And we really appreciate the visit. Um, man, Ricky, thanks, man. This was a lot of fun. Super 70 Sports, we're on it. Thank you, Matt. My pleasure. Great talking to you guys. Thanks, Ricky.